Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into our Town Hall 7 Let's Play, and guys, it's been a week. I, I was not able to get a video out before this dragon upgrade was finished. I was going to do a middle one, because I normally do episodes every couple of days, every three to four days, uh, and this dragon upgrade was a week, and I just am not getting a chance to make a video on this account, and literally the dragon's gonna be done in... 50 seconds and so I've actually got an army of dragons ready and I, I think I could be wrong but I think that at level two the dragons look different like their their, their skin changes so I think we're gonna be able to see them that happen in, uh, like like in front of our eyes which I think is gonna be really really cool also just a reminder just a heads up that off camera for this past week I've done a few upgrades in fact I did this dark elixir drill because I had extra elixir um so the dark elixir uh, drill is going to level two and I upgraded all of the traps. Remember last time I think I mentioned that traps are kind of lame and I just wanted to do them, get them over with. So I did. I literally invested all of my time, all of my gold, all of my builders into the traps and a couple of extra walls and stuff, but it's all good. So yeah, guys, I've got my dragons. I've got balloons of the clan castle rage spells and we got our dragons in three, two, one. They did. They changed color. How cool was that? Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so now we are sitting on a open laboratory. We do need to start something else today, but we've got these level two dragons that we need to use today. And I'm really, really excited about it. I've also got some replays uh, that I will show you guys of the level one dragons because dragons are how... Or, or what's up? Uh, the idea for this whole series was get done with the elixir and then start farming with dragons. And pretty much we're done with the elixir. If I go over to my progress base, the only buildings that need to be upgraded that are elixir based now are is this drill, which only has one upgrade left. These three gold mines and stuff in the laboratory. So when we have, you know, extra elixir, we put it into this and we could use dragons. So let's... Farm with dragons. It's a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun, especially if you know the tips and tricks on how to farm with dragons. Let me show you guys right here and right now. So let me find a base, and you and I are going to hit it together and talk through the strategies of hitting with dragons. All right, guys. I was going to try to find a 10 7 to hit because I was going to go for that 3-star, but... I found this base. Um, I very rarely find bases in lower gold league with over a thousand dark elixir. So this is really, really rare. Think about it. My storage right now, maxed out dark elixir storage, can only hold 20,000 dark elixir. That means that this is 1 20th, 5% of my total storage. That's that's actually really, really good, guys. So I'm gonna hit this base, and what you need to know is where the sweeper is. There's the sweeper right there, that booger. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We are gonna start by placing a dragon on the far end and a dragon on the other end. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in behind the sweeper, right? And that sweeper's pointing up. So we're gonna take up the corner buildings and establish our funnel. Also, I wanna see where this dragon's gonna go here. Is he gonna go up or is he gonna... Okay, let's get that mine out of the way. Let's start it on this camp. And then we can get the rest of the dragons and lay them out. So basically what we're doing is we're funneling our troops toward the core. Next step is I'm going to put my clan castle uh, balloons down and then hit that rage spell to where these balloons and these dragons all go and they rage into that air defense. Now, here's a clan castle dragon. It won't stand a chance with my dragons under rage. Now, again, I need to keep these uh, uh, balloons under rage whenever they're making their way toward these air defenses. But unfortunately, they don't survive very well. Um, yeah, they're just balloons. They don't handle air defenses that great. But we already got the Dark Elixir out of the storage. Let's actually drop our next, our, our final Rage spell down here. Let's get that Town Hall down. Remember, this is an 8 or a 7, so it's impressive to get a 2-star. Not too bad. And these dragons got that second air defense. Now, another strategy that works is obviously hitting a Town Hall 7 would have been easier. We would have gotten probably a 3-star had this been a 7. But another option that some people like to do more is instead of bringing raid spells, bring lightning spells and lightning spell and air defense. Uh, but I prefer the raid spell. I feel like I've got more control over the attack. This attack went perfectly. We only left 90 dark elixir on the field and it's in this level one dark elixir drill. We got the rest and it was in the core. That was exactly what I was hoping to do. Now I've also got the king. We might as well take out some of the air, uh, some of the elixir while we're out here, but I don't want him to take a lot of damage because I want to be able to use 
use him in the next attack. So that went perfectly, guys. The dragons are very powerful, and as long as you take out the corners and force those dragons to go in where you want them to go to get the storage or to get the drills or the town hall or whatever it is that you're aiming for, they're awesome. Of course, um, I think this goes without saying, or I've already kind of mentioned it, but you don't want to use dragons if you're still farming elixir, okay? I'm going to close out so the king doesn't die completely. Yeah, see, I, I lost a lot of elixir. I only gained about 150,000 elixir. Uh, we did a great job with gold though. That's a lot of gold and the dark elixir That's one of the biggest dark elixir grabs that I ever see as a town hall 7 900 a thousand That's pretty dang good. So great for dark elixir farming great for gold farming Not great for elixir farming because let me show you the cost of our dragon army If I go into here army number two 359,000 elixir guys that is crazy and it takes a lot longer to train it's a 30 minutes uh training versus the barch which is only 18 minutes but i think it's worth it because barch struggles to get that dark elixir but let me show you this attack guys against t shearing uh sharing whatever uh this is another situation where it was a town hall eight and this one was actually 1900 dark elixir unfortunately i missed out on one of these drills but you've got to play to the uh, against the, sh the the weaknesses of the base and so for this one the sweeper is pointing this way so i decided to go ahead and funnel the top and on the bottom and then just spread my dragons nice and wide and then what i was trying to do here was by setting down the uh, the balloons down here is to get rid of this air defense on one side use the dragons get this other air defense which was a bit more shallow so that i can clear it up and get the dark elixir out of the storage so unfortunately um my king wasn't able to get the dark elixir drill on the top but my dragons do succeed in getting the storage and that is what i care about right now it's all about the gold which obviously you always profit all gold so you know that doesn't really matter what army you use to get gold but it's also all about getting that dark elixir to upgrade the king and to upgrade a few things in the laboratory um so it, it worked out but yeah i dropped the rage on the on the king over there and it didn't quite work out so we left a few hundred dark elixir on the table there a noob mistake but this was the second dragon attack that i've ever done and as you can see these were actually level one dragons had i had maybe the level two dragons i think we would have done a bit better and then let me show you guys a three star with these dragons right quick because i'm sure you guys are wondering how does that work so this is a tunnel seven and a tunnel seven with three air defenses making a nice triangle around around the base right around the town hall and then here's the sweeper up here so the sweeper is going to be pointing down so you don't want to come from the bottom you want to come from the top behind the sweeper so essentially what i'm going to do here is i'm going to come from the left hand side because that's the side of the storage just in case things go weird and um start on the corners wipe out some of the corner buildings so here we go we got the army camp down at the bottom it's good army camps work really good as anchors you want to wipe out the army camps if you can it really helps with your funnel and as um, soon as that camp at the top goes down, I'm going to probably, yeah, there's the balloon. And then here are the dragons going to go all down in the same place. Drop that rage spell. The dragons and the balloons in a rage are great. Those are max town hall 11 level balloons. It's easy to get those balloons, especially now with clans. So many clans being a high level. So I was able to really get a lot of balloons in there. Get rid of those air defenses. Get rid of those defenses. And look at this. The dragons are actually going to clutch two out of the three air defenses because those balloons unfortunately went the wrong direction so but it still worked out great because that is just how powerful dragons are at town hall 7 it's always been the case dragons have always been powerful at town hall 7 but it just it just shocks me and amazes me to see how powerful they really are um and i think yeah once this air oh okay once this oh okay that was about to say once this archer tower goes down but the dragons are kind of taking their sweet time getting to this archer tower there's only two more air targeting defenses left archer tower and a tesla and they should i mean this three dragons they should wipe out those two defenses that okay there's a tesla as soon as the arch tower goes down there's no way to lose this attack there it is there you go and that is the three star all going to finish up on the gold mine and then actually finish up on this barracks and that was that was actually my first dragon attack i found a good tunnel seven with lots of loot wasn't really thinking too much about the dark elixir but lots of gold lots of elixir so let's go do one more i've got to actually request i've got to get some more balloons and i've got the balloons on my other account so let me donate to myself go find an amazing base and we're gonna do another one and i'm, I'm actually gonna really try to find a seven for you guys so that i can tr maybe throw down a three star for you but if i find something massive with the whole dark elixir thing then i'm gonna i'm gonna get it <laughs> okay i <laughs> the glitch I, I keep having this weird clan castle glitch where i donate myself troops 
and they don't show up. And I tried a couple things. I closed the app out and uh, it, it didn't work. So we're going to attack without our balloons, which is going to make things a lot more difficult uh, because it's just going to get a lot more difficult. And wow, 2000 Dark Elixir. Okay, here's our first search, guys. Obviously, we're going for the dark. Um, it's going to be difficult without our balloons, but we're going to try. If we don't try, we're going to regret it. So let's start by, yeah, let's start by actually sniping this drill. I think this king can probably, oh, yeah, giant bomb's going to do a ton of damage. The Tesla and the Arch are going to do a damage. Please get this dark elixir. If you do, that would be great. I'm grabbing this dark elixir because it's behind the sweeper. See how the sweeper's pointing right? So I want to put my dragons behind that to the left. I don't know if the dragon is going to make it all the way through the base. So I went ahead and just snipe that drill with that king. So next step is we need to start our funnel. So let's get our, our dragon up here at the corner. We'll put another one. Uh, okay, there's the builder hut. As soon as the builder hut goes down, there we go. We'll get that elixir collector down. Um, and then we'll see which direction this dragon over here goes. And then we'll lay down our line of dragons. And mainly what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to uh, just try to get some dragon shots in the storage. That's that's the main that's the main squeeze right now. That's what I'm trying to get to. So let's see. Let's get a let's get a rage out there. Let's get a rage out there. Pretty much just rage spam, especially because this is such a higher, so much higher level of, uh, uh, def uh, town hall than I am. So uh, dragons. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. We got two, dra three dragons on the storage. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes! Okay, so we got the storage. Are we gonna get this town hall? I think we are actually. Dragons are OP, guys. Dragons are crazy powerful. Sure, we're gonna miss out on some elixir. Sure, we're gonna miss out on some gold. But the dragons work fabulously in diving into a base and grabbing the dark elixir. That was just awesome. And oh, look at that. We're gonna get a storage or part of a storage with the one final dragon. The level two, I, I can totally tell, guys, the level two dragons, they last forever it's beautiful and uh i would like for these dragons to actually come up and get this mine well okay do whatever you want dragons it's up to you you know if you want to be if you want to be wanderers yeah they're all going to travel together that's one of the problems with dragons and that's why you have to wor really worry about your funnel is that if you don't funnel your dragons the odds of them going around the edge of the base instead of getting the loot is is really high so see that they actually split that was a lucky split we get rid of that storage and this gold mine um, and then I think the rest of the gold's in the storage. There's no way that one dragon's gonna make it over there. But, hey, there's a chance this dragon will get a little bit of the elixir out of the storage. So I'm gonna let this dragon do, do its thing here. Uh, camp. And then cannon. And then I'm thinking elixir storage. We'll see. It's gonna take, what, five shots? That was three. That was four and five. Very good. And then storage. There. And that air defense is gonna start hammering down. Oh, man. Would have been good. If that dragon had full health, we might have gotten a lot of that elixir down. But still, guys, really, really good. 76% on a town hall 8 as a town hall 7 is really great. Especially because my king only level 2. Um, so he's got a lot of work to go. And also, my rage spells are only level 1. I know we have at least one more upgrade as a town hall 7 for the rage spell. So we're still working on it. And we're doing a really good job with the attacking. And 2,000 dark elixir is beautiful. Right, okay, so yeah, the dragons are amazing, um, and I guess now we need to do some upgrades. Obviously, we've got enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the king, so I say we go ahead and do that first. We're going to upgrade the king going to level 3. It's a 15,000 Dark Elixir upgrade, which, you know, if I find 2,000 Dark Elixir bases, I guess that means it only takes 7.5 attacks to do. That's, that's pretty cool, I like that. And now the king will only take one day to upgrade. He was 12 hours at level 2, so it's slowly getting longer for the king to upgrade himself. So we're going to go to level 3, 15,000 Dark Elixir. <laughs> Love the dragons. Thank you, dragons. You guys are amazing. Um, let's do this, guys. In 3, 2, 1. Bam! All right. And then the next step, let's get a laboratory upgrade going. And I say because we're using the rage spells, let's go ahead and upgrade the rage spells. 450,000 Elixir. Only a two-day upgrade. I might start the rage spells level three off camera, uh, but we'll just have to see. So, rage spells level two, three, two, one. Bam! Nice. And actually, I've got a book of spells. I could technically book it, and I could technically try to do the next one. Let's do it, guys. Book of spells. From the clan games in three, two, one, bam, nice. And then we can actually go to level three. That is great. Let's do it. Nine hundred thousand licks. So I've got plenty, and this one's actually a three D upgrade. So we just saved two. We just saved two days. That's awesome. In three, two, one, bam, 
Nice. And unfortunately, I don't have another book of spells. That would have been cool. All right. So three days from now, rage spells will be level three. And that should actually make my attack even better because my rage spells are now even better. So next step is spending some builders. Um, I've got the final spring trap. Remember I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, that I've been doing the spells. I'm sorry, the traps off camera. So we got all the traps maxed out bombs, to level four springs traps, a level two. And this one is the final one. Also the giant bombs are already level two as well. So all the traps are done. So the main priority now, and it should have been probably prioritized a long time ago was still getting the new defenses to previous town hall max levels. And so like for the instance, this, um, air defense, here is level two and that's the new air defense level four was max at town hall six so we need to get this baby level six so let's upgrade this guy's 270,000 golden three two one bam okay and then next we've only got one builder left actually so we should probably figure out what we're going to upgrade and i say we go ahead and do let me see here what else what else we have here let's uh let's do this archer tower why not guys we need to get the archer tower to level seven anyway that's only 180,000 gold so what that means is that we can actually spend what are you doing? Why are my walls out of order? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't, I, I can't let it, I can't let it slide guys. I just can't do it. Okay. There we, there, oh, come on now. Get over there. There we go. Now the walls aren't messed up. <laughs> I feel better now. All right. So let's upgrade some walls, tons of walls with the gold that I've got right now. We've got, um, uh, how much was this again? 180,000. Yeah. So that means that I've got 3.3 million gold. Plus, I've got some in my treasury? No. Okay, so I can spend 3.3 million gold. I think we can only do it in 200,000 intervals. So 3.2 at 16 walls. So let's see. How many is this? Three. Oh, I'm so close. My guess was only one wall off, guys. Oh, man. Okay, 3.2 million gold, 16 walls, and three, two, one, bam. Very, very nice, guys. And that is some fabulous progress. We're almost halfway done with our level seven walls. And now let's upgrade this archer tower. 180,000 gold in one day upgrade. That means that between episodes, I might go ahead and continue to upgrade these defenses. I'll let you know what I do in three, two, one, bam. And there we go, guys. Actually, I think we had a really successful day. Dragon army, so fun. Tons of Dark Elixir, get that king upgraded. And we're making some great progress on our defenses as well. And actually, if uh, my math is correct, we've got about three weeks left in the laboratory before it is all said and done. We've got a max tunnel seven, and I cannot wait for that. So that's it for me, guys. Try out the dragons yourself. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried it or if you will try it. Let me know how it works for you. And be sure and do that funnel. Two dragons, maybe three dragons on each corner, you know, and then send them all down the middle and you're not going to regret it. You're going to love it. So again, that's it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button. Join the class family if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.